up, Pastor Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. I know I have been vlogging a little bit here and there, not too much. I don't know, I just been kind of have a seat. <laughs> I just been kind of, I don't know, I don't know, just kind of, I don't know why. Ah, school is going okay. It's been busy, it's been fast and furious. I don't feel quite ready. It just, it's just fast and furious. And it's so much to do, not enough time, and I just feel a little overwhelmed. So we will see how the year goes. I got this little dress off of Instagram, and when it came, it was too big, honey. I don't even know if I was recording y'all. So I'm trying to get used, I'm trying to get my flow back at school. I haven't found my flow yet. So it's like every day is something new. I just, just feel as though I don't have it. Every day is such a rush. And I no longer have first period planning, which has totally thrown me off after having it for three years. Because that first period was my creative space. And I now have six period off, which is like the end of the day. <laughs> and now it's going to be a challenge now that I have duty. And from duty, I rush into class. So I need to get as much done as possible. It's like I almost want to get here at 5 o'clock to make up for not having the first period. So I just don't feel like I have my flow. I don't feel like I have it down. So, and I teach 8th grade and I teach 7th grade. So I have 8th grade in the morning and 7th grade in the evening. So, with that said, I need to get my tail going, get these cones out. It's like my whole morning has gone. I don't have time to do much. Now I feel like I'm late. <laughs> I really probably should have got here maybe 5.30, 5 o'clock. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, to get my life. So with that said, and it's hard to do work while the kids are here. They don't want you doing that. They don't want you um, trying to multitask because your focus is just the kids. So you either got to work before school or your planning period is really not enough time. You run it to get your copies or this or that, get to go to the bathroom. It's not enough time. So you're working either before school or after school. So... And we don't get paid overtime. Baby, I wish we did. So I am going to get those cones out and then rush back here and try to get my agenda up on the board so the kids know exactly what to do when they come in. So we went to the library yesterday, so we are starting our 10 minutes of silent, sustained reading. And I, they need to organize their binders. How many of them got their binders? I have no idea. So with that said, I'm gonna get up out of here, y'all. And I showed you the dress already, right? I showed you the little dress. And it's big, so I put a belt. How do you put a belt around something? Put a little tutu under it, okay? page it's your girl joy back with another banger as you know school is in session and my feelings have been a little hurt this year because you know i had some teachers kids in my class some of them were like absolutely not i do not want them back in her class but i guess they didn't want their kids pushed and encouraged and i i don't know but then there was one teacher he was like no i want my son back in your class so I guess he saw some things that I like, but I just thought it was the biggest compliment and I just wanted you guys mm, to hear it from him. <laughs> so what made you want your son back in my class? Well, I once was a, a middle school student as well. And now I'm a teacher. And when you're a teacher, you start to think about the teachers that influenced you to be great at what you do. Mm -hmm. And when I think about the teachers that I try to emulate working here at AMS for the last two decades, it, it brings to mind the teachers that angered me, 
frustrated me, that did not accept mediocre performances, that saw potential mm -hmm. and made sure that they tapped every ounce of it they could before I got out of their classroom. So when I think about Stanley Singer and Lynn Perryman and, and Miss Muldrow and Roger Stallings and, and some of those teachers that helped me excel and not just get by, mm -hmm. this is what I see in Joy Basil as a teacher at this school. And when my son was frustrated with her last year, say, Levi, she's only doing this because she knows that you can do better than what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so it was kicking, it was screaming, it was a zero average after the first three weeks and said, she's not going to give in, you might as well do the work. And so having gone through the growing pains last year, I wouldn't have anybody else teaching my kid reading and language arts at AMS. Now that is... Uh, I think that is just like an amazing compliment and so I had his son in seventh grade I now have him in eighth grade and he has been phenomenal he came to tutorials he said oh, I just want to work on this and we were here to what almost five o'clock working and I feel like if a student shows an initiative to want to learn I'm gonna be there to help them grow if they're doing mediocre work I'm going to push them to do better so we were going over simple sentences today I like ice cream no that's what they're writing in second grade find a different way to write that <laughs> throwing some prepositional phrases figurative language metaphors similes and I like to take certain kids underneath my wings so I could push them to the next level and I can see that in his son. Thank you. And Levi appreciates it. He was actually happy to be in here this year. He you loves sure? him some Miss Basil. You sure, Levi? Levi yeah. Bell. Mm -hmm. But his son is, is super, 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 super duper sweet. And he's actually a smart boy. And he gets frustrated sometimes. But I'm like, nope, you're going to do it, Levi. You're going to do it. You can do it. And he's very capable. And so he's just, he's just such a joy to have him.